When the defendant testified, a lot of times he didn't use phraseology like, I didn't do this, or I didn't do that, or I didn't stab him, or I didn't go to that scene. It was never that. I mean, maybe from times he would say it, you'll check your notes, but the vast majority of the time, Mr. Tellers would say it like this. I'd like to think I wouldn't do something like this. I'd like to think that I wouldn't do that. Because he could have just simply said, I didn't do that. I didn't touch that bag. But that's not how he words his behavior. I don't believe that I would repeatedly Google him over and over again. I, I would like to think that I wouldn't use my own car if I was actually the person who did this. Well, so. shouldn't he have just parked on Ron Circle originally? I would have thought that, you know, if, if he wanted to make sure he got the job done first, that he would not have actually parked the SUV in front to begin with. Oh, so that, that's that's my belief because okay. again, that isn't me. Um, I I would think so. Okay. But not professional. Right. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't see how that makes sense. That's a lot of photos, correct? It would be. It looks like surveillance, doesn't it? It looks like a stupid way to do surveillance. Right, it looks kind of amateurish, doesn't it? Right. That's Jeff Garman's house, correct? I have come to learn that it is his house. Combat this with my own narrative to try to, again, win the race. Right. You're so ask you again. Again, that, that would have been if, if in fact that was the case, if in fact I left my phone at home, then sure, yes. Interesting about you know the situation and, and I guess you know this thing that's going to happen I, over an hour and a half. Just tell me what's going on. Tell me what's you know. I mean, obviously at this point, I, I had my suspicions because of like the, the whole you know all that thing. Um, I mean, how does some how does someone plan to have a victim in this in a particular area at their home? I don't. That's again. So just by this time, it's already. 12.53 when we're at number 32. So I already have my, my, myself at the gym, right? Sir, um, I did not ever hang out with Mr. when he was alive. My question is, yeah. Um, I don't know that I was planning things to be suspicious or not suspicious, sir. Okay. But I knew I didn't do this thing. There's over 132 images in your phone focusing on that. Would you say that's a lot of detail? If that was on my phone, I guess I would say yes. Okay. You've got 101, correct? That's what it alleges. That's, that's fairly, that's, that's a lot of photos, correct? It would be. It looks like surveillance, doesn't it? It looks like a stupid way to do surveillance. Right, it looks kind of amateurish, doesn't it? Right. You know, and I say regrettably, I think we both regret the mistake, but we both, we had a romantic affair with each other. Okay, so you, you did you did lie to him, correct, on that topic? I, I didn't think that that was the public's business. That's not my question. My question is... is I, I, I did lie regarding that particular issue, yes. Okay. Uh, when you sat down, when you spoke with him, were you truthful in your interview? Not entirely, no. Okay. What were you untruthful about? Uh, about the extent of the relationship with me and Roberta Lee Kennett. Okay. What was different? What did you say versus the truth? Um, I, I said that, you know, she and I had no affair. Uh, I, I can't imagine the kind of person that would... Objection. Sustained. So I personally can't imagine myself to be the kind of person... Sustained. I am not the kind of person... 